Hello and welcome to Media Cafe Travel. Be sure to subscribe at the red button below or on the bottom right hand corner of this video. Today, we're going to be showing you Salt and Ivy at the Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. Right in the heart of the Strip is Aria, one of the great hotels on the Strip. And one of the restaurant options at Aria happens to be Salt and Ivy, which is a cafe and patio bar. Now, Salt and Ivy is located in the space formerly inhabited by Herringbone, which was the restaurant from top chef Brian Malarkey. Salt and Ivy brings California-inspired coastal dishes and cocktails. As you're going to see, the menu offers lots of breakfast items as well as lunch and dinner entrees. Now, Salt and Ivy also features indoor dining and an outdoor patio, which remains from the original Herringbone days. And when the weather is good, it may be the best option because you'll find fresh air and you can be joined by special guests as you will see later in the video. Currently, Salt and Ivy offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner fare, but there are limited hours during the week, so dinner is only available Friday and Saturdays, and it's early dinner, so dinner is served from 2 to 5 p.m. Now, this is hopefully going to expand in the future, but that's the current availability. If you are an early riser, though, it does open at 7 a.m., so that's something to take note of, especially if you enjoy breakfast choices that include chicken and waffles and breakfast nachos, as well as steak and eggs, which you'll see is something we did order.
came at lunch, so as you can see, we grabbed the lollipop chicken wings and the shaved ribeye that was extremely tasty. They also have lobster rolls and the Brussels sprouts uh, was a unique side because Brussels, these Brussels sprouts came with pecans. Uh, but the shaved ribeye was a very good sandwich and I still was able to order the steak and eggs, the breakfast uh, helping that comes with toast, of course, and, and eggs of your choice, and, and, and also hash browns. So uh, again, this was sort of a middle, you know, middle of the day. Uh, so there were some breakfast items still available, as well as lunch items. And of note, this is the creme brulee with berries, and they actually did remember. I I booked the reservation, and did note birthday as the uh, occasion, and they did actually remember. So. Uh, they gave this uh, little candle to go with the dessert. Uh, and again, they packed the creme brulee with fresh fruit on top. So this was actually uh, really delicious, actually. And um, certainly um, all the food was tasty. Now, I know some people believe this is kind of overpriced food, but I don't know. I mean, if it's uh, Aria and it's uh, good tasting food uh, in a nice setting. So, uh, you know... It's, it's debatable whether it's overpriced, but it was certainly good food. mentioned the outdoor patio opens the possibilities for special guests. In this case, our guest was a friendly and unintimidated bird that joined us more than once during lunch. So it was really fun watching it bounce around the patio, going from table to table, sort of checking everybody out. So this was a really uh, unique little uh, display of the bird before he flew off. Don't forget to check out the other videos from Media Cafe Travel. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Comment and like as well. Tell us your favorite dishes at Salt and Ivy. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time at Media Cafe Travel.